Hi, I'm Adrian Escajeda, but you can call me Buddy. As part of an educational project with AmeriCorps, Mertasia, one of our new members of Austin Public Health's communication team, gathered frequently asked questions from the community. Thanks, Mertasia, for sifting through social media and 311. And just a heads up, there will be a lot of links and resources that we'll be talking about in this video, but to make things easier for you, we have all those links and resources listed in our description below. Now, there's a lot of questions, so let's get into it. This is Austin Public Health Support. Our first question is, does anybody know where I can get a birth certificate? As a matter of fact, I do know where you can get a birth certificate. Birth and death certificates can be requested from the City of Austin's Office of Vital Records. We'll leave a link in the description, or you can call 512-972-4784. The Office of Vital Records registers all births and deaths that occur in the City of Austin. If you were born in Texas, you can also get birth certificates at Texas Vital Statistics. For detailed information, go to the Texas Department of State Health Services website. We'll also link that website in the description below for you. Alternatively, you can also call the Texas Department of State Health Services, 888-963-7100. Texas Vital Statistics keeps all important records for the state of Texas, including birth certificates, death certificates, marriage, and divorce records. You can also get more info from our friends at 211. You can call 211 anytime in Texas to find resources on food, housing, health, and more. You can also visit their website at 211texas.org. Great question. Many of our questions from you were about our WIC program. Now, WIC is short for the Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, and Children. It's a program for pregnant women, new moms, and babies, and children up to age five. The program provides food assistance to supplement a healthy diet and save money on groceries. At WIC, you can learn about nutrition, breastfeeding, community resources, and more. This program supports community nutrition around the critical years from birth to age five, focusing on healthy starts, early care, and nutrition education. They can also help you find healthcare providers. Oh, and by the way, it's free for those who qualify. WIC is an equal opportunity provider. And with that, let's get into some of the questions you asked. Hello, question for recertification for WIC. Are we able to do a recertification at the mobile bus or does it have to be an actual clinic? Great question. First, let's explain what the WIC mobile unit is. The WIC mobile unit is a service using a minibus so the program can reach more of the greater Austin area such as North Austin, South Austin, and Eastern Crescent areas, just to name a few. WIC mobile units reload WIC benefits for families already enrolled in WIC. They can also help schedule appointments, issue breast pumps if needed, and answer WIC-related questions. To receive WIC benefits, you have to get certified. Certification includes meeting a certain requirement, such as being pregnant, postpartum, or just after giving birth, providing or having an infant up to the age of five, or having a gross income at or below 185% of the U.S. poverty income guidelines, meeting state residency requirements, being determined to be at nutritional risk by a health professional. Certification lasts six months to a year. Once that period is up, you have to reapply. You can use the WIC pre-screening tool online to find out if you qualify. There, you can also find WIC locations and contact information, as well as a list of required documentation. You can also start your application online or over the phone. Going back to your question, for recertification, you'll need to visit an actual WIC 
clinic. However, the WIC mobile unit team can help you by scheduling an appointment and explaining the process and requirements. That way you show up prepared and ready. Great question. Our next question reads, does someone know a place that can help give clothes for a five-month-old baby and a three-year-old? If you need some free clothes for babies and toddlers, visit the Connect ATX website. I punched in my zip code and typed in free baby clothes and found a list of organizations who offer this type of help. Your list may be different depending on your zip code. Secondly, you can contact your nearest Austin Neighborhood Center who can point you in the right direction. That leads us nicely into our next question. Does anyone know where they're giving away veggies? All of the APH Neighborhood Centers participate in fresh food for families, giving out free fruit and vegetables. For the schedule, check out the website, which has a link to the current month's food distribution. The neighborhood centers provide food in partnership with the Central Texas Food Bank. Check out the food bank's website for a list of where you can get food close to you. Their Find Food Now website will be linked below as well. And FYI, or for your information, anyone can get food without identification or proof of citizenship, income, or insurance. Is there any center where they can help with car seats and strollers? Neighborhood centers do provide car seats to Travis County slash City of Austin residents. You can visit the Neighborhood Services website at austintexas.gov. The full link will be provided in the description. Our next question reads, does anyone know where I can get diapers for my babies? Yes. You can go to www.austindiapers.org to find where you can receive diapers, and you can also call an Austin Public Health Neighborhood Center. Visit our website and we'll link it in the description. Who knows where I can find a food pantry? Please visit the Central Texas Food Bank's Find Food Now website. In this website, you'll find food pantries near you, including Austin Public Health Neighborhood Centers. Thanks for your questions. Now, let's switch gears and answer some of the questions you have regarding housing. Let's get into it. Does anyone know of any resources that help pay rent? And does anyone know any resources I'm able to apply to to help pay my light and gas bill? Great question. We understand that rent and utility assistance is needed in our community. You can contact Austin Public Health's Neighborhood Centers by phone at 512-972-5780 to see if assistance is available. You can also reach out to El Buen Samaritano at 512-439-8900. Additionally, Austin Energy has several assistance programs. They are trying to increase awareness on helping medically vulnerable populations and several others. Let's switch gears one more time. Here are a few answers to questions about healthcare services. This is health services support. If I think I may be exposed to a sexually transmitted disease or sexually transmitted infection, where can I get tested? We can definitely help you with that. Austin Public Health partners with local businesses all over Austin for free sexual health screening pop-up clinics. We screen for the four most common sexually transmitted infections, which are chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, and HIV. I encourage you to check out the pop-up calendar on our website or the ATX sexual health page on our Facebook group. You can also call 512-972-5580. Many people don't know that most sexually transmitted infections don't show symptoms. You can have one even if you are in a committed relationship. It's always a good idea to get tested regularly because most STIs can be treated if they're caught early. Untreated STIs can cause serious issues like cancer or reproductive problems. Like we always say, get tested. It's better to know. Our next question reads, 
Excuse me, does anyone know where I can get free vaccinations for children? We've got you covered. Vaccinations are really important for keeping our community safe, and there are a lot of vaccines kids need before they go to school. Over 70 Texas vaccines for children providers offer vaccines at lower or no cost to kids up to age 19 who are uninsured, underinsured, or have Medicaid. Underinsured children are kids who have private insurance, but their coverage doesn't include vaccines or only covers a certain vaccine or a certain number of vaccines. Texas vaccines for children providers include two APH shots for TOTS clinics located in the St. John's Neighborhood Center and in the new Dove Springs Public Health Center as well as the APH mobile vaccine program. Please call 512-972-5000 or visit our website or you can visit vaccines.gov to find Texas vaccines for children or mobile vaccine clinic locations near you. Hey everyone, does anyone know where I can get a wellness check for my elderly mother? One good place to start is by consulting with one of our public health nurses. Please call the neighborhood center of your choice to find out when you can see a nurse. Our nurses help with finding medical homes, blood pressure checks, diabetes screenings, and many more services. Where can I get naloxone, also known as Narcan? Thanks for asking. Narcan is a brand name for naloxone, a drug that reverses an opioid overdose. The Travis County website has a list of places where you can get Narcan. We'll post it in the description below. You can also get Narcan mailed to your door through the Narcan Texas program linked in the description as well. It is also available at pharmacies and does not require a prescription. Opioid overdoses are serious and the quicker a person can get help, the better. Having naloxone available and knowing how to use it can save a life. Narcan is available as a nasal spray and is very easy to use. Also, I encourage you to know the signs of an opioid overdose. The signs may include, but are not limited to, unresponsiveness, slow or no breathing, heavy limbs, blue or ashy lips and fingernails, gurgling or choking sounds, small pinpoint pupils. If you notice any of these symptoms in someone, give them naloxone if you have it and call 911. Even if you give them naloxone and they perk up, it can wear off. So it's important that they go to a hospital to be monitored. Thanks for your question. And our last question for today reads, does anyone know if glucose levels here in the USA are measured the same in Mexico? Fantastic question. Healthcare providers use glucose levels or sugar levels to monitor health issues like diabetes. Knowing your glucose level helps you know if your sugar levels are in the healthy range. The answer is yes. Mexico uses milligrams per deciliter as their unit of measure for glucose levels, which is the same as here in the United States. Well, those are all the questions we have for today. We've only just scratched the surface of what APH and our partners have to offer. So if you have a question that you did not see in this video, please drop it in the comments below for next time. Thank you for joining me and Austin Public Health Support. And remember, lots of people need help but may not ask for it. So help us help them by linking, subscribing, and sharing this video so it can reach those who may need it. Till next time, Austin.